Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today is a question about heaven. I've received an email and this person writes, do we get to see and meet and hug and talk to murder victims in heaven? Now, before I go into my explanation, I do need to say a little disclosure here. One, I am not a medical doctor. I have a PhD, which gives me the title of doctor. Okay, look at Dr. Sheldon Cooper of the Big Bang Theory as a classic example. Okay, second thing, I fully understand mental health. So if you do struggle or get triggered or have any sort of reaction to what I say today, please go and talk to someone about it please reach out and get a professional to talk to, okay? Go see a doctor if something does happen from today with murder victims, okay? Because this is a very, very touchy subject, okay? So let's go there. When we go, when we pass away, I firmly believe that there are three options for what happens to us. The majority go to heaven. Then there are those who stay as a ghost and then there are those who go to hell. Now, I do have a video, it's on my video list. If you click on my channel, go to videos, scroll down, there is one there called, How Does Hell Work? Okay, in that video, I explain that we create a hell. There is no place like heaven, okay? It is a fabrication of our own grudges, issues, past regrets that creates that hell loop, okay? We get stuck in our past and we can't get out of it, okay? So when we look at murder victims, are they the ones responsible? Many, many times the answer is no. It's the actions of somebody else. But what if you've got a really nasty person? I'll just go there, surmising as an example. You may have a really nasty person who abuses and abuses and abuses to the point where that victim says, I've had enough, I'm going to hit you over the head with a hammer. Boom. So then they get charged with murder. Okay? So it all comes down to what we personally have done. We've got to look at the perspective of every person on the planet because this is what we do in our life review. You know, in my book, Five Years in Heaven, this is my life review with the big three and all my memories were inside the box and I had to go through them all. So each situation, experience, event that we go through in our life, we have to judge it for ourselves. So if we're a nice person and we're doing the right things, we judge that and it's tenfold. But if we do hurt somebody else and we, in the ultimate, murder somebody, we have to judge and feel how they felt when we did it to them. It is not nice, okay? So this is how karma plays out because it realigns those energies, okay? The frequencies, all right? So when we're talking about murder victims, Let's surmise here to say that they were perfect citizens. They never did anything wrong. They've never broken a rule. They are the most caring, loving, supportive people who got murdered because they drive in home one night and a drunk driver ran a red light and killed them. Boom. So now they're dead, right? Do they go to heaven? Possibly. Because what I find by my experiences talking to ghosts is that when somebody dies very suddenly, unexpectedly, like a car accident, that trauma brings on a psychological reaction of amnesia built in with um, grief. So there's a lot of other psychological disorders. So they actually stay earthbound because they don't want to give up the life that they had. Okay, they, they go into the shop to buy milk because their baby's sitting at home and wants Cocoa Pops for breakfast. So they're racing to the shop. They get killed, so they're trying to get back to the house because they want to look after their child. That sort of thing is why a ghost stays. So 
do we get to see and meet and hug murder victims in heaven? Yes, we do. Because before we go to heaven, everybody passes through this process. Everybody does a life review. Everybody heals what they've done. Whether it's a little minute thing like accidentally standing on an ant. But then we have to look at intention. Did I have intention of killing that ant? Okay. Then we have a look at things like, did I deliberately try to hurt that grass when I mowed it? <laughs> that sort of thing. Okay. So it's, it's not bad things that we have to relive. But some of the things that we do are doozies. So that's why in my book, I talk about the doozy ones that I've personally done, like when I deliberately hit a girl in the head when I was back in prime, um, high school. Um, I had to be her and feel how it felt to be punched by Linda. So we do feel the other person's perspective. But that is all through our life review, which is when I was standing in front of these big three, okay? But when we go into heaven, we've healed all that. So now we are the best versions of our soul. We're the best soul, okay? Our soul can have 1, 3, 10 million, 16,000, whatever lives. This life of Linda is only one life that makes up the accumulation of my soul okay so when we go back to heaven I become my soul again okay and then as I walk around as my soul I can take on the persona of any person from my life in my past or future because there's no time there okay so that's why when I was walking around when I was there for five years when I died I saw a medieval lady wearing the long medieval gown and she had the long brown hair and it was all tucked up into that whatever headpiece that they wear. Instantly she transformed. She was wearing a little mini dress from the 1960s and she had a short black bob hairstyle. Instantly we can be whoever we want to be. Okay? We can have the best hair that we had in our 18th century male then we can have our best dress that we wore in 1987 to a prom then we can have our best shoes and our best toenails let's go there our best toenails yeah who wouldn't want their best fingernails when they were long and beautiful with that red nail polish on them okay so we f make it all up in our mind we create our thoughts into reality that's the thing here. So let's just say you've got a murder victim. They do pass through their life review. Of course they go to heaven. Okay? Of course they go to heaven. Okay? If they reach that stage. If they don't stay as a ghost or go into that hellish experience, right? But ultimately, most of them do go to heaven. And we do see all of them there. I interacted with thousands and thousands and thousands of souls in different lives, okay? You know, I, was, I talk about in my book how I was concentrating on a duck. Instantly, I was the duck and I could feel its feathers and I could feel its webbed feet. And then as I looked through the eyes of this duck, I saw Linda standing there in her pyjamas. You know, because for the whole experience, I stayed in my pyjamas, okay? Because I died at 2 o'clock in the morning. So I hope that gives you some clarity today about what happens when we pass. It does not matter what we've done in our life because we heal it when we do our life review. And it is tenfold. That's why the big thing I teach now, which is half of my book, The Teachings of Heaven, I tell people now to bypass all that pain because it is tenfold when we do our life review. If you've had regrets, if you've got grudges, 
if you've got animosity regarding past events which causes depression because depression ultimately is when we live in past experiences start to heal it all now so it's not tenfold when we're standing in front of the big three okay so I've got every sort of exercise in the back of my book you know half this book is all about how to be a better person how to get through our bad times and make them the best times possible so guys if you do want a copy of the book the link is below in the description I've also got my tip jar there if you want to throw in some money if you want to buy me a coffee because hey you know we all learning things right okay so just remember guys we all do end up in heaven even ghosts go to heaven absolutely after they pass over you know you, I like looking at movies you look at ghosts the movie ghost Patrick Swayze what happened to him right at the end of the movie he went to heaven okay the movie um, Bruce Willis the sixth sense what happened to him right at the end he realized that he died and then he's walking down the street which symbolizes it's a metaphor symbolizing that he's actually gone to heaven okay so ultimately even ghosts all do go to heaven so ultimately we all return to our soul okay even those in hell loops let's just hope and pray that they sometimes somehow do break out of it so they learn that they can heal it and they don't have to be stuck because ultimately you know who wants that experience you know um, so get over your grudges now get over all your past hurts and pains and start appreciating you know let me just go there guys my ex-husband in America the sheriff came and saw me after my event and he actually told me that he wanted to charge my ex with attempted murder he said do you want to proceed and I said no he said why not and I said because I forgive him for what he did because he only did what he could at that time big words after I've just had this huge event right the sheriff could not understand it because he's in this three-dimensional world where justice must be served now in this lifetime whereas I just spent five years in a place where I realized justice is a balance through karma that can happen in any lifetime past or future big difference so if I saw my ex now there's no animosity there's no hate there's no hurts there's only pure love I accept him graciously for who he was because ultimately he gave me the best experience of my life so how could I ever have a grudge or a regret or any other sort of pain associated to that um, situation how could I blame or have a regret oh, I wish I had gone over there because he what he did to me but ultimately I learned so many lessons from what he did to me it showed me the sort of person I want to be to others and it showed me thankfully that I am not like him because ultimately my life review it went good there was only menial little things there in there that um, you know I don't even like to talk about it because it's to me it's boasting but I didn't talk about all the good things that I went through in my life review you know smiling at a stranger where they feel that gratitude and it's tenfold so you're sitting there bawling your eyes out okay it is amazing but please know that you know you we look at our lives go back through all those hurts and pains that we've caused to others and start healing it now apologize and say sorry and seek that forgiveness within because that other person does not have to forgive us the only person who judges us when we're standing in front of the big three is us the only person who we ever have to say sorry to is ourselves I'm about to cry because this is just so amazing the love that we feel when we do heal and we say sorry to ourselves okay stick around guys there's more to come if you've got a question my email is below I love doing my videos so thank you to the person who sent me this one I hope that it answers your question okay do we get to see and meet and hug well hugging there is a video because we don't actually hug people in heaven 
I have a video, scroll down through my videos, um, how hugging works in heaven. We don't hug, okay, because there's no physical body. Um, do we talk with murder victims? Of course we do. But we don't talk about what they went through because they've already healed it, okay? Hope that helps, guys. Talk to you all soon. Okay, bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.